tide pools are a magical place that are teeming with all different kinds of life. They are a great place to visit and learn from no matter your age. Unique creatures call the tide pools home, making these small spaces an incredible mini world to explore right beneath our feet. When going tide pooling, we want to make sure we are staying mindful of the fragile life that surrounds us. After all, we are visiting their home. We want to always tread lightly and go low and slow when walking on the slippery seaweed and wet rocks. This will keep both you and the animals safe. Take your time while exploring. The longer you observe the tide pools, the more life you are likely to see and be able to learn from. Look under seaweeds and rocks, but be sure to put them right back down where you found them. By doing so, you are helping the tide pool creatures survive and the ecosystem thrive. We just found a rock gunnel. This is the only fish that really actually lives in the intertidal zone. Uh, it looks a little bit like an eel. People think it's an eel, but it's literally called a rock gunnel. We were lucky to catch it. We had a net. They are very good at, at being escape artists. If you find a cool critter and want to hold it, make sure to do so gently and keep it low to the ground and water. This is a little green crab. Um, it's an invasive species, but they've actually been coming to this area for over, or they've been living in this area for over a hundred years, originally from Europe. And yes, they're green, but they're not always green. The best way to tell a green crab is by counting the points. One, two, three, four, five. G-R-E-E-N. Some creatures like limpets and sea anemones hold on tight and we should not try and move them or they will become injured. There are going to be all kinds of exciting findings throughout the tide pools. We want to make sure to leave them where they belong for the next person to enjoy. It is likely that others will be exploring the rocky shore while you do. Make sure to stay together with your group so that you are staying safe and able to listen and share with others. Remember to keep an eye on the waves as the tide may be coming in throughout your time tide pooling. A good rule of thumb is to not go past your knees while searching for sea life. Thank you for watching and learning proper tide pooling etiquette. Be safe and have fun exploring.